In the ancient times, Tine de Ene, the holy people, heard the cries of a baby on a mountaintop. They found a baby girl lying on a bed of flowers. She was the daughter of night and dawn, and they took her to raise as one of them. She grew from infancy to puberty in four days and acquired the name Asanak Alea for changing woman. At the time of her first menstruation, they created the Kinalta ceremony to honor and bless her. She grew into a powerful supernatural being, a mother who gave birth to the Navajo people and ensured their survival through future generations. She gave all of the Navajo girls the Kinalta ceremony so that they too would become honored and blessed for their womanhood. Today, the legendary origin and its transmission to mankind is retold and enacted. Upon reaching age 13 and experiencing her first period, a Navajo girl is initiated into womanhood by a beautiful four-day ceremony called Kinalta. During the four days of the ritual, the Kinalta, her family, and members of the community are all considered participants and helpers. Kinalta herself has various duties, one of which includes corn grinding. Corn grinding teaches the girl to understand to cater to her people. The motion of grinding makes sure she will never forget how strong it makes her. The second major duty of the Kinalta is racing. She races several times each day, and the run has its own choreography. The distance the girl runs tests her strength, and it varies from person to person. The outdoors is not a limiting space, so while racing, there is a sense of freedom. The racing always begins in an ogon, a circular lodge. The circle is always emphasized as it symbolizes the sun, the cycles of the year, and life itself. The Kinalta races in a large circle at dawn towards east. During the race, other children usually run with the Kinalta and are blessed for their involvement. During the ritual, the Kinalta also helps prepare the alkan, a circular cake made from ground corn. It is baked in a circular pit dug outdoors according to the passage of the sun. On top of the alkan, corn pollen is sprinkled on each of the four cardinal directions in a specific order. The bottom and the top of the cake are decorated with a circular pattern of corn husk. The cake is also cut in a circular sunwise direction, with the first piece being cut from the east. After the cake is prepared, it is shared and celebrated with the entire community. The final duty of the Kinalta is lifting. The Kinalta places her hand on the side of children's heads and raises them up to a desired height as she is said to have power at this time to help children grow. During the ceremony, the Kinalta is adorned with beautiful ornaments and clothing. She also undergoes hair washing and combings performed by a chosen female. Most importantly, the Kinalta undergoes molding. The moldings are done on the first and last day of the ceremony. This is to express the belief that at this time, the girl's body is pliable and can easily be shaped into a desired form. It increases the girl's energy flow and transmits energy from the aid to the girl. The girl lies on her stomach and the aid presses different sections of her body. The moldings must be done correctly to ensure that the girl will be in the image of the changing woman. The Kanalda ceremony is an integral part of the Navajo culture. It is a rite of passage and a celebration of womanhood. The ritual expresses the girl's spiritual and physical transformation, and it also represents the society's acknowledgement and acceptance of her as a woman and a beneficial part of the society. Learning about the Kinalda ceremony has reminded me of one of the rituals of my own Nepali culture called Gufa. Our ritual also celebrates the passage into womanhood by honoring girls as they begin puberty. These similar practices in two different cultures from opposite sides of the world reminds us that we are not so different after all.